today we're making these delicious chocolate chip cookies. Hot and chewy. should be room temperature. One. This one's a little bit too soft. Put it in here. So to the butter, we're gonna add sugar. We're gonna add three quarter cups of granulated and three quarter cups of brown sugar. So let's do the granulated first. It's three quarters of a cup. And then the brown sugar, of course, you pack in a little bit. We're doing Chris's favorite, except we got teenagers, a lot of them. So we're actually omitting the oatmeal and the pecans. Just plain chocolate chip. So you can always do that with my recipe if you want to. A teaspoon of bacon soda. A teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, calls for a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So I'm going to turn this down so it doesn't throw flour everywhere. There's a half. One. A half. Oh, I didn't put my eggs in. Crap, I should have put my eggs in after the... Sugar. Let's go ahead and add them. It's not going to hurt anything, but two eggs. So you can add your eggs after you fluff up your sugar and uh, butter if you want to. Probably be the smartest thing to do. So that was one and a half cups of flour. So we're going to need two more half cups to be two and a half cups of flour. We got the oven on preheat. I like to bake chocolate chip at 350 degrees. So it's at 350 degrees. And while that finishes getting mixed up good, um, I'm gonna pick myself up. Now what we're gonna do is add our chips. bag of milk chocolate and half a bag of semi-sweet. I think to make these extra good, I'm going to add another teaspoon of vanilla. Why not? I got tons of it, right? All right, let's fluff them up. Turn it off. 
Now we're gonna get these and drop them out on a cookie sheet. You can use parchment if you want to. It's easier to clean up if you do. If you have some, now, parchment is expensive, but if you buy it in large quantity, it's not as expensive. So I do like to buy my parchment from wholesale clubs or online in larger quantities. The parchment that I have now is actually something I got off Amazon. You can buy this online. Um, anything you see me using, whether it's even down to the parchment paper, I have linked. If you go to www.coloredvalleycooks.com, then you can purchase what you see in me use. There's different categories on a shop down pool menu. Now these cookies, because we didn't add the oatmeal and the pecans, are a little bit softer. They'll be really good. Um, if you want to cut them out, then you have to refrigerate them first, but there's no reason why you have to do that. If the cookie has a dryer batter or it's been refrigerated, I would use a cookie scoop. But today, since these are fresh, it's still nice and creamy, I'm just gonna use a spoon. I'm actually using a tablespoon because I want these to be nice and big. Chewy in the middle, crispy on the outside, cookies. And of course, the bigger you make them, the more you have to spread them apart. We're gonna get these in the oven. Come on. I want to add just a little bit to this one because I don't have quite as much on yet. How many minutes do you think, Chris? Or those big? 13? Yeah. We'll try 13 minutes. Timer, 13, start. We'll see y'all in a minute. Perfect. 13 minutes. So when you make cookies, when I was growing up, I never had one of these. I couldn't, you know, I, I, it was simple. I didn't have parchment paper and I didn't have one of these. Um, but it's best to have cookies when you get them out, to let them cool just a minute or two and then slide them off and put them on here because they will continue to cook on this. The good thing about using parchment is you can just pull them over and you can use another piece of parchment or you can wait till they cool down and just slide them off and reuse your parchment. Let's see how these look nice and chewy right quick. While they're nice and hot, everybody wants a nice, warm, gooey chocolate chip cookie. Delicious. Hey y'all, we did, made two patches. The first batch was a little lighter than the second batch. I guess the oven is warmer. So if I were you, I would uh, set the timer for 12 minutes on average to get a lighter cookie like this and chewy. Um, let me show it to you. Nice and chewy in the middle, crunchy on the outside. The perfect chocolate chip cookie made with butter. I hope y'all have enjoyed watching Card Valley Cooks. The kids are gonna love having chocolate chip cookies and sloppy jugs for supper. Mm -hmm.